previously on Take a Peek at This, we pretty much finished all carpeting and made a start on prepping the walls for a coat of paint. First on the agenda was to fix the table saw. As you saw last week, it suddenly died on us mid-cutting, but we decided it was a job for this weekend. Why did we do that to ourselves? It's Saturday and, and we're, we're back, back at the, the van. van. Today's tasks are to finally complete what's on this board, the yeah. things that we were supposed to do in one day last week. Well, there was things that stopped us. Yes. So what's the plan for today? Well, the plan is to fix that. So we have this issue that... That died on us halfway through cutting the slats. I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to try and sand the slats, but I yep. hate the feeling of it. So I'll see how far I go. And I'm going to apply more stain because currently it is orange and I am yeah, not like loving that colour. Yeah, let's fix this saw first. Wish us luck. Whilst Paramus tinkered with the saw, I made an attempt to fix the horrible orange slap. We'd hoped within the week that it would have darkened up, and it didn't, and we hate it. I'm not loving it. I'm concerned. That is hideous. Disgusting! <sighs> it seems to just be getting oranger and oranger. Is oranger a word? No. More and more orange. I'm not having this. I then made a start on painting the walls whilst the slat dried. Aramis was still fighting with the saw and I really didn't want to interfere. I'm still struggling with this table saw. I took that old saw out and I'm just going to try to fit just a circle of saw on this table and hopefully that's going to work. After an hour or so, Aramis managed to come up with a new saw idea and we could finally get back to cutting the rest of the slats. So we had to solve it by improvising and bodging something. Amos has come up with Yeah, plan. we just attached the piece of plywood and screwed the circle I saw from underneath. So hopefully that will be enough and we can just finish cutting these slabs. The wood stain really wasn't true to its colour. That is not that and i hate it and rather than wasting time we went to buy something completely different we went for a dark oak wood dye in the hopes it would give us the finish we wanted on the way out i had a quick look at the possible color schemes and took some paint samples when the time comes once back at the van we prepared a makeshift workstation to start staining the slats and that's where we spent most of the day whilst aramis sanded i stained and complained about neck ache I hate this job. She's not happy. I'm... It's horrible. My back feels like a pretzel. I mean, I do actually have a bad back, though. I'm not built for labour jobs yeah. either. And I've cracked my lip, and I think I figured out how. Every time I overspill a bit too much, I go, <laughs> thinking, oh, my God. Then I turn around and look at you to see if you see me spill it everywhere. And I think every time I go, I crack it. Well, right, anyway, I've finished <laughs> sanding them, so I'm just going to help Emily. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Our family to great. stain these. Uh, what's done? We'll see. We just need to get on with finishing these yeah. first. Aramis finished sanding and then gave me a hand finishing off the first coat of stain on the slats. We'd really had enough after hours of work and called it a day. We're done for today. We've managed to get our first coat of paint on the walls and then we spent the rest of the day creating our slat graveyard. Which take way too long. And how many have we got? Let me grab that. Guess how many we got? 25. 25? Yeah. 18. 18. Oh. We have 18 slats. I think we're going to need more. We're probably going to need more. We definitely need some more wood stain. So we went for this in the end. Libero. Libero. Palette wood dye, anyway. And we went for a dark oak rather than that one being medium oak. And it's much better. It matches yeah. our floor so much better. So. We'll be back tomorrow to finish the sliding door. Oh my god, the sliding door. Do a second coat of paint and actually do the sliding door because yet again we were like, oh, we'll just put the ceiling slats on, then we'll start yeah, building yeah, our yeah. cupboards. Um, doors aren't done still. We're still trying to figure out what we want to do with them, to be honest. But that is our goal at least the sliding door. These can wait. Yeah. The sliding door has got to be done before we build the furniture. Oh, yeah, definitely. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and we're back at the van. Yes. It's miserable morning, raining, but sun is coming out and we got to do quite a few things. The main thing is the sliding door. Yes, because we keep forgetting about that, yeah. as we keep saying. We just kind of keep pushing that job we on were, the side. Yeah, and the rear doors. Yeah. They're the only things that don't look much finished. <laughs> yeah, we got the slats completely dry now. We're 
need to get more stain to clean them. They need more, another coat at least. They're a little bit matte at the moment, they've gone mm. very light, so we just need another pot of dye. But I think the first thing this morning and the focus is going to be on the sliding door. Let's see how we get on. Our first job was to tidy the van a bit. We had so much mud and dirt in there. No wonder we're always covered in mud. Ta-da! Now that's better. We found the old door panel. It needed a bit of repairing and we decided to use it as our carpet base for the sliding door. Can we get a congratulations for remembering the sliding door, please? Amos had come up with an interesting way of getting a stencil for the sliding door. So I'm thinking I'm going to mask it around and then we're going to put the clean film around and mask it again and that should be the shape I want. But will it work? My guess is no. Sorry, Aramis. Um, right, so what part of the sliding door have we done? The with, with the ply. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That doesn't make sense. So what was the top one? Is that not the bottom, not the top and this the bottom? <laughs> it still works. The lock still works. Uh, it's it fine. Looks good. It's fine. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> Butchered stencil complete, we placed it on our sheet of ply and drew the rough shape in the hope it'll fit first time. Who's nervous? I'm nervous. I'm not Me. nervous. Me. Are you not nervous? Nah, it's gonna go straight on. Right, we've been cocky like this before. Like no. the wheel arch. No, we haven't. Shall we say? Whoa, nice face, Emily. Test fit time. Attempt one. It didn't quite fit and needed a bit of an adjustment. This corner's definitely got to come down. What? Corners. God damn it. <laughs> Adjustments made. Time for attempt two. That's, that's not right round there still. God. It's got to go over, like there. Nope, still not quite right. Back to the table for more adjustments. Attempt three. Yes, she fits. Good job that stencil worked, eh? Off to Wix again. Seriously, Wix. Where is our VIP card? We needed more stain. The one we bought was absolutely perfect, so we needed a few more bottles. We decided to stain the ply on the sliding door too. We really liked the idea of having stained wood throughout the van. Time to second coat the slats. Look at that colour. One last quick second coat of paint for the walls before we go. We also decided to fix the sliding door panel on and it looks lovely. Weekend complete. We're done. The door is finished. I think we've done a great job of that. Yeah, we were really undecided whether we were going to leave it white and then just sort of cover it with stickers and yeah. posters and stuff like that or whether to stain it brown. But there's something about the brown that I just, I love it. So oh, that's going to be it for today. And next time... We've got to get these rear doors done and then we can get onto yeah, slats and, and building furniture. Finally, we can... I don't we know. are so close. Well, anyway... We will see you on backdoor day. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to follow along on our journey.